हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल से बापो जीरो फोर एकस एन सी एच सी चू ओ अबाउट हेकिंग प्रोग्रामिंग इन सेबर सिक्रीट इन अदर टेक्नोलॉजी ट्रिक्स ओके सो इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल प्लीज गाइस मेक श्योर यू डू सब्सक्राइब इन सी द नोटिफिकेशन बिल सो दैट यू वो मिस एनी अदर फीचर दैट आई पोस्ट ओके In this tutorial, I'm simply going to teach you how you can successfully run Kali Linux on your Android smartphone without wasting any storage like what Kali is trying to do. Okay, so you have to just follow step by step, guy, in what I'm going to do in this video, and you successfully have yourself helped. Okay, so. You can check out some other videos. There are also some contents here, like how to moderate VPN in 27 minutes to the best level. You know, the only application you need for this work is you need two applications here. You will need Vegas keyboard, and the other application that you need is OneWorx. Don't worry where to get this application. I will share the link in the description below. Okay. So first thing first, we go to our Play Store. Play Store here, then we just search Shaker's keyboard. <laughs> then search. As you can see, I have already downloaded the app, so I just click on Open. Okay. Then here you have to enable the keyboard. Here Shaker's keyboard, you have to enable it. Okay. As you can see, I have already enabled the keyboard, so you have to enable it. Turn it on, okay. And then the next thing you have to do is you have to click here on setting boot method here, and just have to click setting boot method, and then you just have to you have to select the keyboard like this, okay. And the next thing which is most important is you have to go to your settings, your Vegas keyboard settings like this. And then you have to scroll down and do your location like this. Here, you have to tick here where it is written use permanent notification. You have to click here, use permanent notification. You have to click that one and you turn it on. It will appear power like this. Okay, this will appear this one. Show you guys keyboard, okay. So after that, you are done. Then you have to just go here and open your own your own Wix application. Here. As you can see, this application guys, it's only KBs. It's only KBs, okay. Let me show you. Let me show you the application size. Yeah, it is only 225 KBs, but you can successfully run Kali Linux in that application. Okay, I guess I'm right. Let's get started. You just have to clear open, open this application on new on Wix. Okay. After you open the application, you have to click here on operating system here, where it is written OS. You have to select Debian based because Linux is supported by the Debian based command. So you have to click Debian based. Okay. After clicking Debian based, here you see Kali Linux. You just have to tap on Run Online. Okay, let's let it take time to configure. You can grab a cup of coffee for a minute. Then you just have to click on start on this start button here. You have to click on it, start like this. Start the application, right? And then you have to wait. You can grab a coffee for a moment and let it configure its own things. It may take some time, so you have to wait.
Okay, done. Now you click on enter. If you are kind of in areas where you're trying to run this Kali Linux on your Android or anyway, just comment in the comment section below and we will respond to you as soon as possible. Okay, your password when you started it will be just one, two, three, four, five, up to six. So your password to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you can use that one when it needs your privileges. Now, see the magic guys, you can see Kali Linux is now in. I can now use Kali Linux on my phone, on my smartphone. Okay, you can see here Kali Linux. Then I can go to applications. Okay, you can see all the applications that are in Kali Linux. They are just here as they are. Okay, for example, let me run the main map. Let me show you. Yeah, here yeah, and map. Just click on in map here. Okay, and map is on. Now let me take for example, I want to scan the target. Just save to. Because as you can see, everywhere the where anyway I click, the keyboard is not showing. That's why I say install your cast keyboard and configure the way that I I showed you before. So to bring the keyboard up, you have to go to your notification panel just like this, okay? And then you click show your cast keyboard. All right. Now I can try the command. Okay, after typing, you just have to hit enter. Now, as you can see, it may be starting just working just like Kali Linux, okay? Just like Kali Linux, okay? Now you can see port 113 is open, as you can see the login form now. Not shown at 999. This is just if you want to follow my tutorials about checking on Android using this cool application that I've just found you can just keep on following me I will post a lot of videos I will teach website checking from scratch how you can do that on each and on each operating system you are using I know not all of us can afford to buy laptops or PCs so that they can use Kali Linux that's why I decided to create this video for you so guys happy hacking enjoy